Hi guys, it's Sloan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get unready with me. Um, I just got back from a photo shoot, so I thought why not show you guys how I kind of take this all off. I have lots of makeup on and lots of product in my hair. We were kind of going for like a glowy, wet look, so like my hair is literally not moving. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into it. Okay, we are in my bathroom now and first things first is my hair because they did little like twists and braids in the front so I'm going to undo all of that really quickly. You guys, my hair. My hair is literally crunchy right now. There's so much mousse in it. Oh my gosh, so it's gonna be lots of fun to um, wash out once I get in the shower. Okay, so I think I got most of it all out. Um, and I already did this side in the car on my way there. Also, before I got in the car, I had false lashes on that I took off. And they also put like this tape on my eyes like this. You can like see it on the side. There's like makeup missing right there because they put tape and it was like, they stuck it on the sides and then it had like strings with like little attachments on the end. And they like brought the strings around my head and clipped it in the back. And so I was like completely sucked in. Um, and I looked amazing, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I was a little disappointed when they took the tape off before I left, because I was like, I don't want to see my real face, because it's going to look so droopy compared to what I've been looking at for the past hour. Um, but yeah, no, it was great. Loved the shoot. It was so much fun. Um, but yeah, anyway, so my hair is out now, and just kind of, gonna let it sit here until I'm done with my skincare. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna put this headband on to kind of keep it back as best as I can. I don't want to put it up because it's just gonna get tingly and it's gonna be even more of a pain to get it out before I get in the shower. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this headband on and um, hope that it kind of just keeps it all out of the way. Before I started my skincare, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands because I've been touching a bunch of stuff and that's just really gross not to. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face outside of the shower just for the sake of the video. But if you wash your face in the shower, you should go ahead and wash your hands before anyway, just because like even when you're in the shower, your hands are still dirty, even though like it might not really feel like it. Um, so yeah, always wash your hands before touching your face or anything like that. Now that that's done, we are going to go ahead and get started on skincare. So I love double cleansing whenever I have makeup on. Um, so the first product that I'm going to use is by Pharmacy. So this is what it looks like. Um, I've used a lot of it at this point. It's so great. It literally just does the job, does exactly what you want it to do, which is melt your makeup away. So I just put a little bit in my palm and rub it together to get it all warm. And then I just go straight in. I love using these balms because I feel like it just works a lot better than like Makeup wipes, also makeup wipes are really bad for the environment. So if you're still using makeup wipes, I suggest you switch over to a cleansing balm. I used to use makeup wipes when I was like way younger wearing makeup. And then I switched over to coconut oil because my older sister was using coconut oil and I uh, pretty much did everything that she did in life. And I actually stopped using the coconut oil recently, like in the past three or four months, and I finally switched over and bought like a legit makeup cleansing balm. Um, and I can't see myself going back to 
coconut oil anytime soon, honestly. This stuff is just so great. And um, this has lasted me, this is like my first jar. And um, this has actually lasted me a very long time. This is my first jar and like I said, I stopped using coconut oil about three or four months ago, probably three. Um, and I still have a lot left. So um, yeah, I highly recommend getting this. I got this at Sephora. Pretty much all of the products that you'll see in this video I got from Sephora. Probably all of the products that I use today, actually, um, is all from Sephora. So. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to use some water and splash it all off, make sure it's all good to go, and then I'm gonna go into the next step in my cleansing routine. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Tatcha rice wash. It's so, so hydrating. You'll notice throughout my routine that I use a lot of hydrating products. Um, so yeah, this is like the first one that you'll see that like will really give me the hydration that I need. And I think I'm gonna pull my hair up in a bun, just like a low bun because I'm like getting in the water and stuff. That should be good. Okay, gonna wash my face really quick. I love this face wash so, so much. I can't even like begin to tell you guys. It also smells so good and it's like thick and creamy and it has like the tiniest exfoliant little like beads in the mix. So I don't know, it just feels so freaking nice. Okay, so time to rinse this off and then I'm gonna move on to the next step. Wow, my face gets so pink after I wash it, like my cheeks and stuff. Um, my skin is like super sensitive, so that's why it's getting so red, especially on camera. It doesn't look that red in person. It just looks a little bit crazy on camera. Um, but now that my face is nice and clean and the makeup is all off, you see that glow? I mean, come on now, really? Um, I'm going to go in with this Oil Henriksen um, Glow something dark spot toner. This right here is the best stuff ever, but it's truly only if you have dark spots. I don't suggest using this if you don't have any dark spots or anything like that. I have some like on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. You probably can't even see it on camera though. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to kind of let that dry just a little bit and then move on to my hyaluronic acid. It just comes in this little dropper. So I'm gonna use a few drops on my hand and rub it in and then just like pat it into my skin. Okay, so that's done. And the last step for my skincare is this Dr. Dennis Gross um, moisturizer. So I use about that much just on my finger. Put it on my hand, rub it together. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the most part um, for my skincare routine, for when I'm wearing a bunch of makeup. I actually have one more step that I'm gonna show later on in the video, but for now, I'm going to get in the shower and take care of this hair because it's extremely stiff and um, I'm kind of dreading getting in the shower to take care of this, but it has to be done. I can't even imagine going to bed with my hair feeling like this, so. I just 
got out of the shower and washed my hair. Um, and now I'm going to just kind of let my hair air dry however it wants to. And I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. I, again, freaking love it. It's the best thing ever. It also comes with this like really fancy little spatula. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up because this is gonna take a while to do. Okay, so the face mask is on, finally. That took a pretty long time. I guess I should just go ahead and do the outro now since that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed filming it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow me on all of my socials. Um, and also let me know down in the comments section what y'all want to see from me next. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.